So I currently use this non-toxic peppermint spray that I really, really like. And this little happy accident is gonna give me the perfect opportunity to really test it out and see how effective it is. Roamtown Girl here and we are going to do a experiment. We're gonna see how effective one of the non-toxic ant roach and even rodent repellent sprays are. Something I've been using for a while but now I have a perfect opportunity to see just how effective it is. So come hang out with me. We're gonna do kind of a unusual way of uh, testing things. I think you'll enjoy it. So for those of you who don't know, one of my side passions and hobbies is I love labyrinths. Um, I like to build them and I do labyrinth facilitation. And so since I'm going to be situated for a couple weeks, um, I thought this would be a great opportunity to make one of my what I call temporary labyrinths. Um, and I will go and I'll use whatever I can find in and around my environment. So I was able to find uh, pine cones and rocks and twigs. So the funny thing is, when I went to bed last night, my labyrinth was fairly complete. I just, I do need to collect some more rocks. But as you can see this morning, we had a little theft. We're missing a pine cone there, a couple pine cones there. As you can see, the center has been desecrated. And so the guys, they're all right here. So they're fairly close. And you can see there's one of my pine cones. So we don't really want to have to come out every morning and reset the labyrinth just because what I'm calling a labyrinth, these guys are calling a buffet. And so this is awesome. It's going to give me a really good opportunity to um, use my pest control spray and see just how effective it is. What I was thinking about my labyrinth here, and clearly these guys like to eat the pine cones. So I don't really want to spray the pine cones. I think that they are, you know, I don't know what they're doing with my twigs. So, but I have the rocks and the rocks are pretty inert. And the rocks are also along the outside edge. So the plan is I'm going to reset the labyrinth. I don't want to harm any animals, even though the spray is non-toxic. So I don't want to put it on anything that I think they're going to eat. So if they do go into the labyrinth, I want to make sure that anything edible is okay. So I'm going to spray just each of the rocks. And in case any of you think I'm being mean, I just want to show you something. It's not that I am cutting them off from their food source. I just want them to stop taking pine cones from my labyrinth and go take them from over there. There's a ton of pine cones over there. There's a whole smorgasbord all the way down there. So you can rest assured I'm not gonna spray on anything edible, only on the rocks. Because I don't think they're eating the rocks. <laughs> now, this is safe for pets and children and dusty. <laughs> See, it does say non-toxic, safe for around pets and children. It's really for ant and roaches, but it's based on peppermint oil. And of course we know peppermint, the rodents, the squirrels, the mice, the chipmunks, they don't like that smell. I don't like the peppermint smell, especially on my hands. And I'm gonna have to get some more rocks because I didn't finish, so that's gonna force that issue. God, I can't do it. Little squirt on each rock. Okay, so now we're gonna see what'll happen. This is gonna be a fun experiment. So what do you think? Do you think the labyrinth's gonna be intact tomorrow? Or do you think they're gonna have another feeding frenzy? And again, no spray was put on anything edible. Since there is definitely rodent activity going on, and I've been a little <laughs> lax. Anyway, I wanna show you what I usually do with the peppermint spray. Spray it on anything that makes contact with the ground. Your cord is a good one. 
Sorry guys, my hands are a little arthritic. Front tire. <laughs> and I can't really do all the way around the tire, so I kind of just do a C instead of an O. But it's worked. I don't generally get anybody. And like I said, you can feel comfortable. Hey Shelby. And as you can see my tires and my stair support are all fairly close and in the dog's proximity. So my little stair support, I'll do that. This tire is going to be a little bit harder to get at. Hit double as a tripod. So again, EcoSmart, organic insecticide, the ant and roach killer, safe for kids and animals. Highly recommend it. Well, shall we go see how the labyrinth fared? Oh man, we've had an intrusion. So, they definitely got into that guy. And look, they came all the way into the center. They definitely breached the perimeter. We're gonna reset for tomorrow. And I have a, a new strategy. Okay, I'll reset. And in fairness, the product I was using is really for ant and roaches. And it does do a brilliant job with that. Never said it was for rodents. I was just thinking because its main key ingredient is peppermint oil and you know we see all those articles all the time about peppermint oil on cotton balls keeps mice away so I wanted to see if it worked and well in this case uh, peppermint oil zero squirrels and chippy chip bugs I don't know how many pine cones did they get two <laughs> but as long as we've <laughs> got our test labyrinth going let's try another tried and true cayenne pepper <laughs> i'm gonna try to show you something look i found a camera picked up one of my pie codes even the gopro's getting in on the action i would have blamed that on one of the rodents again i'm gonna put the cayenne pepper around the out outer edge not on the on the actual pine cones themselves because I really don't want to unintentionally hurt somebody, especially in this scenario. I mean, they're not in a house or in my RV, um, but I do want to see if we can dissuade them and deter them from coming into the actual inside part of the labyrinth. So I'm gonna sprinkle this around on the rocks. That should be enough to create a smell and a barrier. I know I don't do well with cayenne pepper, so imagine they wouldn't either. Baby lizard! Hi, little one! Look at you, not even afraid of me. Hi! <laughs> oh, he's so cute! Um, when I was a little girl, um, my family used to go up to Arrowhead all the time, which is close to Big Bear, and one summer, I caught a lizard and I named him Lyle and I brought him home and my mother promptly took me to the pet store so we could get I don't know an aquarium and whatever else a lizard needs anyway as soon as we got to the part about what lizards eat uh, that's kind of where it all went south what you get them is called mealworms and if they don't eat the mealworm within a certain time frame, it will morph into a beetle. <laughs> and as soon as my mother heard that, she said, thank you very much. 
promptly drove me to an open field and I had to let Lyle go. So now we'll wait and see what happens tomorrow. Isn't this fun? Experiments with Rometown Girl. <laughs> Get the squirrel. We can't hurt them. You can bark at them through the window. Oh, look, there's another one. Well, I think it's safe to say that even the cayenne pepper does not keep them out. Ow, ow, ow. I shouldn't do this without my gloves. Shoot. Ow. They completely came into the center here for sure. So, never one to give up. I do have one more thing I'm gonna try. It's something that I got online. It's called Stay Away Rodent. It smells really good. Oh, that's why it smells so good. It's made from balsam fir oil. And I'm gonna wait till I get to the Arizona desert I think I got my first mouse there in Ehrenberg. For now, the squirrels are winning. <laughs>